In this video, I'm going to give you a reminder that if you can be disciplined in your spontaneity, you can take your success, your productivity, you name it, to the next level. It's counterintuitive, but stay with me. So taking your spontaneity seriously or becoming more disciplined in your spontaneity. I know it sounds silly to say it like that, right? Um, because we think of spontaneity as being sort of totally removed from anything uh, to do with discipline. But the reason you can be disciplined in the application or giving yourself spontaneity is that Spontaneity, it's not just a fun thing we entertain or engage in every now and then. Spontaneity is an essential emotional need. And emotional need, essential ones, have to be, have to be given to ourselves regularly, on a regular basis, right? So it's not this haphazard, maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't, but who cares, you know, maybe we'll see. It can't be that with any essential or an essential emotional need that we have, there has to be a matter of making a priority that we give it to ourselves. So spontaneity, from my experience, I haven't worked with, with many people, a big problem we have is the absence or lack of spontaneity. We're all very good at discipline, right? But we're not good at the spontaneity piece. So I'm gonna give you a little tip here. How can you be more spontaneous and, and be more disciplined and try and have it as a regular part of your, your, your day even, uh, certainly of your life? Well, first of all, you have to know what spontaneity is. Spontaneity isn't a carefree attitude, okay, um, necessarily. Really, a better definition of spontaneity is spontaneity is a space in which you hold no agenda. A space that isn't already filled with some intention. Okay, so I'm not advocating for all your life necessarily being spontaneous, but certainly a part of your life. So it's basically what I'm saying here is holding a space that isn't meticulously planned. Sometimes, you know, I think we, we have this defense mechanism of over planning and over scheduling things because it's that need to, to, to stay in control of our lives, right? So we, 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 we take it to the nth degree, but then it becomes this sort of neurotic dysfunctional thing for us where every aspect of our lives are planned. And spontaneity being an essential emotional need is basically calling for enough of this, okay, now is time where I don't want any plans, I don't want any structure, I don't want any agenda, I don't want any intentions. I just want to be in a space and let's just see what, what happens. So it's the same way with, with anything else. It's like you set aside time for the gym, probably every day or every, a few times a week or whatever it is, or you set aside time to work on uh, your side business, or you certainly set a time, uh, aside time probably to work on your job. Why can't we proactively, deliberately, intentionally, on purpose, regularly, set aside time for spontaneity, a space in which there is no agenda? I, I, it's hard, I think, because we're just so, we, we, we think just completely in the opposite to this. But I swear, I found that this is sort of like a, a, a secret. It's, a, it's almost a secret to happiness, <laughs> right? It's just not planning and over planning your day. Now, we do need some structure. We do thrive with some structure. So I'm not calling for extremes in anything here, but some space where there is not uh, an agenda. And we're very good at, watch out for this too. If you do happen to start giving yourself this need for spontaneity, this space without an agenda, just watch and see how long it takes you to fill it up with an agenda. We're, we're, we're ingenious. We'll come up with all sorts of ways to, to fill it up. It's like the first time you do this, you might go, oh, I feel like reading. So you go read. The next day you go back to that. It's like, oh, well, I read the last time, so I should read this time. But now you see it's already got a little agenda there. 
Now it's actually become your reading time. And it really shouldn't be your reading time. It should have no agenda, strictly. Again, be disciplined with that. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. But if you want to learn more about this, that my book, uh, it's free on my website, Forget Happiness. It's the last emotional need, a model of five needs we have. And one of them is spontaneity. And it's usually the black sheep of the family. It's the one that it gets least attention and least validation, unfortunately. And it's, it's really holding a lot of us back from massive breakthroughs emotionally. It's this lack of meeting that essential valid need that we have. So my advice, my invitation is for you to read the book on that. It's a short free ebook um, on my website called Forget Happiness. But even more importantly, is just in any way you can, start to, to, to schedule disciplined, be disciplined and give yourself that spontaneity. Disciplined spontaneity. I'm telling you, it's a life-changing uh, attitude or philosophy. And um, try that for a week. Be open-minded. Try that for a week, honestly, and just see how you feel. And even if you report back here and say, leave, leave a comment below and say it was really good. Or you could even say, because some people do will find it was actually quite challenging because I've noticed a tendency to want to fill the space with a, a plan and how difficult it is for us to do that. But just not having that plan and having that spontaneity, you will probably also find that it's such a kind of a relief and that means you're actually meeting a need emotionally for yourself. Guys, I'll leave it there for today. But again, thanks for being with me as always. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care of yourself and bye for now.